Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Shermaine, a.k.a. Terry McGinnis, coming at y'all with some Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Now, if y'all remember, I said I wasn't going to upload it, but I thought, man, you know what? It's the last, it's the last, the last day of the beta, so might as well, if this is the only one, which I've... You already know how I feel about that. If it really is the only one, then I might as well get a few matches in before they kill the servers. Because it's going to be a long-ass time before we play this again. So, I'm going to give my final thoughts in this video. And I'm going to just run through some stuff. But, I got to say, the most fun that I had playing Halo 5 was in the early access. When nobody knew where any of the weapons were. Nobody knew the maps. Nobody knew anything, and nobody knew, really knew about the ability, or I mean, you knew about the abilities, but no one really knew how to execute them and stuff. That's when it was the most fun, because like 90% of the game, or I should say 80%, it's 75 to 80% of the game was people running around with just assault rifle pistol, and that's all they were using, and that was so much fun, because all it was was just a strafing battle, you know what I mean? That was so much fun. Instead, you know, you throw on the battle rifle and the DMR and, you know, how they're so much more superb than any other weapon. And then you find these cheap-ass, boring-ass spots. People get defensive and then it's not really that fun anymore because people don't fucking move because they think it's a real goddamn war. So, that's when it was the most fun for me was playing during early access. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read off what I wrote down for the, uh, the final thoughts. And uh, I'm going to make a separate video about this just in general in terms of all video games but high level pl playing against high level players it sucks man it, it's not fun at all and sc scrubs are so much more fun to play with one one reason is yeah they suck so you can you can dominate on them but they're so much fun because they run around and they don't give a fuck they're they just you know the quick and the dead they're running around they're shooting people they're getting kills and they're dying and you know they got you know they're racking up like 20 kills and 19 deaths that's when it's mo the most fun for me and that's how it was in the beginning because everyone was pretty much a scrub but now you got all these high level players and it boils down to you know a defensive play style and that's just not how I am and you know people maintain a certain position with really good weapons and they will move they will never move and you're at the disadvantage because they're looking down on you you're looking up at them they can throw their grenades and use them effectively you can't because you have to be incredibly precise to get it on the right ricochet to get the right angle for it to bounce in that on that uh, platform that they may be on and that's what's boring to me like it's no fun because you know these people first of all they're good so it's gonna be a, you know it's gonna be tough any kill to get but it's like dude they maintain that so they don't ever move from that one or two spot those those few spots and it's like you're at a disadvantage because you have two people you know being the gatekeeper and then the other two, the other two people running around cleaning up the mess because you can't move anywhere that's what's boring like I, I don't like to play high level players I like to play against people that like to run around and be aggressive and stuff like that um, the remix maps I think are fucking terrible I honestly do I think the forge maps are pretty bad too but this one I think this one's called Pegasus it's not too bad you know it's not too bad but Orion oh no oh no hell no that map is awful both what is it regret and and uh, Eden they're they are absolutely terrible they do not fit the game whatsoever they have no flow to them they're way too big there's way too much going on there's way too many damn levels I don't like it at all they're they're Eden especially oh my god it's so fucking open I just think those maps are bad they don't fit the game I honestly think that the arenas fit the multiplayer really well and they it's 10 times better playing Halo 5 beta on the actual arenas like um, Truth and Empire those are pretty fun because it's small you know the, the action is is uh it's centralized but yet it's not it feels like because it's so small there's action happening everywhere and there, I mean it is you know it's not like one spot like the towers where all the action happens you know I think those maps are really well designed both Truth and Empire and I, I just think the remix maps are really bad just really really bad and do not do not suit the game right now in my opinion um, Breakout I think Breakout's a cool game mode it's a cool idea you know with one life you got limited health you all start out with the same loadout SMG pistol and I like the map the actual map for breakout I think is really good it reminds me of a paintball course but playing breakout is so fucking boring again excuse me it goes back to the defensive style of play you know you get on 
you become the gatekeeper with the battle rifle you know it's, I think it's like two or three bursts this time instead of four and uh, to the head and you're you know they're done you know there's there's no reason you don't get rewarded for going out and rushing because you're gonna you're gonna run into two people waiting for you you know what I mean it's not any fun to me I don't like the game mode or like the idea I like it but I hate playing it never liked it so I didn't play much of it I didn't get to play strongholds or I think there was another one. I think it was Pilots or Territories. I, I didn't get to play the, that because, you know, I wasn't having fun at the moment. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to play it at all. So I don't have an opinion on those. Uh, oh, my God. The grenades. Enough said, guys. You already know my spiel about the grenades. There's too damn many on the map to begin with with spawn. The, the fact that, I mean, you, even in like this, there, there's a point in this map where there was like two dead bodies. There's grenades everywhere. It feels like they're endless, honestly. It feels like there's an endless supply of grenades and you fucking never run out. I, I, I think they take away from the gameplay. I really do. I think you're more focused on the grenades than you are any other thing. You know, making use of your abilities, gun skill, strafing, melee movement, all that good stuff. I think the grenades just are... A too big of an emphasis right now in the beta then they should be flinch like what the f flinch in a halo game now I didn't play much of halo 3 so I don't know if there was flinch in that game or not so you have to forgive me but in halo 4 it has been a while since I played halo 4 I don't really remember flinch all that much but it's like what the fuck is flinch be doing in a halo game it does it feels so out of place it really does like you should be flinching if you're getting shot with your held down, not when you have your shield up. That shit's supposed to absorb it. You know what I mean? You're not really supposed to feel the fucking bullet. Like flinch is, it does not fit the game at all. It makes it so difficult when you have a goddamn precision weapon. And I, I honestly don't think that someone will hit me with, oh well, that balances out the fights between a precision weapon and auto automatic rifle. I don't believe that at all. You know, a precision weapon should beat out an auto rifle all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? It should, in theory. But I, I don't like it, man. It's like your reticle so fucking small. You get hit a few times. You, you're bouncing all over the place like you're on crack. It's like, dude, how are you going to hit the guy? You know what I mean? And especially when you have an SMG. Oh, no, forget about it. I, I think Flinch needs to be taken out of the game. I heard a rumor that it will be taken out of the game. Which, if it is, then fucking good. Good riddance. The fucking sprint delays. Oh, my God. The fucking sprint delays. I've complained about this since the very beginning and I'm still complaining about it now because it's still prevalent. There's one part in here I fucking looked at my notes and my movie maker decided not to keep playing the damn footage so I'm stuck on a damn screenshot basically but there's I'll put an annotation or something. There's a specific point here where I, I just get I just get done fighting this guy. It's on the lower level. I kill him then I see a guy you know coming at me you know I start to go up the side where that dude's coming from didn't know and then I see the red dot I turn around I click sprint and my dude does not sprint and now of course he chases me down and one two shots with a assault rifle and I'm done it's like what the fuck man I'm so sick and tired of these fucking sprint delays I've said it from the fucking first day of the beta and early access and I will say it until I get the game later on in the year the sprint delays are fucking ridiculous I've already, you know, explained the stated mechanic of sprint is if you get shot during the ramp up of sprint, you will be kicked out of it. Or when you're when you're sprinting and you get shot a few times, you will stop sprinting. But I didn't get fucking shot. I didn't get fucking shot till a few seconds afterwards. I had already clicked it. Like, dude, what the f man? I cannot get I cannot get over sprint delays. They will not be taken out of the game. I know they won't. But that's something that really fucking pisses me off. Um, inconsistencies. This will be the last thing I'll talk about. Inconsistencies, guys, all across the fucking board. I mean, and multiple multiple ranges in abilities, charges that kill, charges that don't kill. Y'all already know I've said that from the beginning. Ground pounds that kill and that don't kill. I hit a dude earlier today, direct impact. My fist went in his fucking visor and he walked away and I got killed. Are you serious? Are you serious? Because I got double teamed, but dude, why didn't he fucking die? Grenades are inconsistent. Blast radiuses are too big, too small sometimes. You get, I died by a grenade when I was literally above the grenade with a, a fucking floor of like, a, you know, a platform and I died. How the hell did that grenade hit me when I'm 10 feet above it? You know, like literally 10 feet above it. There's a fucking staircase. That's, that's, no, that, no, sir. No, 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 sir. 
melee ranges on both normal weapons and the swords are very inconsistent. Why the hell you gotta put a scope on a sword? A zoom in on a sword? There, there shouldn't be a zoom in on a sword. The fact that they do that tells me, which I already know because I've had hands-on experience, that they've had to decrease the melee range for the sword. You have to be relatively close. Like, you have to be in, in like, close range. Like, really close range. Like, you know, you go touching tips, then you go, uh close close range and then you go close range you know because they're you know close range is kind of uh, ambiguous and you know all the ranges are close range is ambiguous medium range is ambiguous but you go those two and it's like dude what the fuck you almost have to rely if you're not sprinting dead on then you have to use the the zoom in feature which is fucking stupid to have a, what do you, you put the fuck in the sword up to your face and you automatically somehow can lunge 15 feet in front of you that's fucking stupid that doesn't make no sense i don't understand why it's like that why you have to have a sword it has to be at close close range to get a fucking the reticle to turn red and get a kill it's it's fucking stupid that's inconsistent. Just make it normal. Just make it close range. There's there's no reason why a sword, when you fucking put it up to your face, you should... You know, I'm, I'm not even going to go on about the fucking sword. But that's dumb. Melee ranges are inconsistent. You know, you'll whiff... I've whiffed so many fucking times on all the people on my friends list. You know, I mean, maybe it's something that you need to figure out the actual, like, gray area. The actual sweet spot for the range. But it, they just feel like they tampered with it when they shouldn't have been tampered with. So... That's about it, you guys. I know I rambled on about a lot of stuff, mostly me complaining. But I think the core gameplay is, is good. It's fine. It's, it took what Halo 4 did and improved it while removing some of the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, Halo is going to evolve. It has to evolve because it, just in nature, if something does not evolve to its surroundings, it's going to die out. So, I mean, fuck. Master Chief said three words in Halo Combat Evolved. He said five words in Halo 2, he said seven words in Halo 3, and then he said a hundred words in Halo 4. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everything's got to evolve. And, you know, taking the taking the very, very, like, we take the very bare minimum, you know, and talk about the sandbox of combat, then adding all the abilities, you know, that's good. That's good, because that's going to add to it. Honestly, I think if they took everything away of the ability, take all the abilities away except Thruster Pack, the game would be still good. Like the game would be fine, but you know the very core basic gameplay is is good. I, I like it. I did enjoy it in the beginning. I just got really frustrated whenever I played with scrubs on my team, uh, um, randoms who don't know you know fucking left from left from right, don't know which side, which part of the body is their ass and which parts their head. Those that's when I got frustrated because those cats were just sorry. But you know, I think it's all right. I think it's all right. But it's tough because you have a fan base that has been around for a long fucking time and it's always going to it's always going to be split not everyone's going to agree on anything and i'm just a little concerned for the other game modes in, the, involving vehicles and i'm just a little concerned for you know halo kind of overall because some people might say that halo 5 might be the last nail in the coffin for them not not for me but you know you kind of have to just tread lightly. I, I, that's what I think 343 just has to do is just tread lightly. Make improvements, make changes, but tread lightly because, you know, you're messing with people's childhoods in a way and their favorite video game franchise, honestly. Uh, I mean, I'm not really concerned about the campaign mode because we don't know anything of it. I just hope it turns out well. I thought Halo 4 was pretty good. So, yeah, that's about it, you guys. I know I talked for a long time. There's a lot of stuff in the video, so that's going to do it for me, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.